Next would be ode acoustic emissions. That's certainly on the list of core equipment that you have to have for the very first day the doors are open in most clinics. Um, and so there are some choices. If I'm doing ode acoustic emissions, am I doing simply screening? Because um, the hospital uh, down the block is sending all of their babies here uh, that are screened with ode acoustic emissions for a rescreen. Uh, um, and so all I'm going to do is screening autoacoustic emissions. That's possible, uh, though for most audiologists they'll want diagnostic autoacoustic emissions. And you know, diagnostic is usually considered now CPT code 92588, right? And in order to comply with CPT code 92588, uh, and that means get paid by the insurance companies, uh, then you would have to test 12 frequencies, right? Uh, and uh, all of the diagnostic systems, of course, it's, you're, you're able to uh, program it and uh, test 12 or more frequencies. And so you'd be able to do this. Is it screening or diagnostic? Is it PC-based? Does it have to be uh, handheld? Uh, would, would that be convenient if it was handheld? Um, of course, is it TEOAE or DPOAE? Um, there's advantages to both of those. Or do you want both TEOAE and DPOAE? All of those are decisions that would have to be made. And the choices, there's plenty of nice choices. Today, there are handheld units that, it used to be they were just screeners if they were handheld. But today, they can be screening and or diagnostic including the full 12 frequency DPOE diagnostic. Um, one, the, the most popular that we have uh, nowadays is this Grayson Stadler Corti, C-O-R-T-I. Grayson Stadler Corti. Uh, that's a brilliant name calling it Corti, but only an audiologist would know why that's a brilliant name. Because naturally the hair cells that generate the otoacoustic emission are located on the organ of Cordy, right? Everybody else says, what? Cordy? What? What's that? Right? Audiologists find, oh, that's a good name. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, anyway, this is a handheld unit about the size of your iPhone, and it sits in a cradle. The cradle acts as a charger, and it also acts as a data transfer. Uh, there is a wireless printer with that, so you can you can test and you can hit print. It's going to print out wirelessly and instantly. Or you can put it in the cradle um, and then it will move the, move the test results into uh, the software and become part of the report. In fact, you could have uh, your audiometric tests, including air, bone, speech, masking, SRT, speech, uh, SRT to scrim, of course, all of that. Uh, and your uh, tympanograms with acoustic reflex and your, um, uh, and your OAEs, DP grams, all on one side of one page in an audiometric report if you wanted to. Uh, configure it like that. So that's good. That, that's maybe one reason why it's good to stick with one manufacturer if they have products that integrate into the same same report. Uh, um, other examples of OAE units is the Titan, you know, does OAE, TEOAE or DPOAE screening or and or diagnostic. And there's a handheld MAKO, it's called an ERO, E-R-O scan. Uh, and that's, uh, uh, that's pretty popular. Uh, that is handheld, as, and if you put it down in its cradle, it will print out to a printer, or it will pop a report, an, a PDF report, right into the software if you have the computer attached. Right. Uh, there is a manufacturer in Great Britain called Autodynamics, and uh, they make a series of handhelds that go from simple screeners. This is a 
screener just does four frequencies, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. You get the check mark if it passes. Um, and uh, very good for infant hearing screening in hospitals and things like that, uh, certain clinics. Uh, and then they make diagnostic models as well, autodynamics. Autodynamics uh, is the original developer of autoacoustic emissions. The uh, original developer was a Dr. David Kemp, K-E-M-P. And he started that company, Autodynamics. It's good to know. And then there are PC-based uh, autoacoustic emissions. Uh, when you have a PC-based unit, you have more control of it than you have on a, on a handheld. On a handheld, you can change certain things in the protocol. On a PC-based, you can change everything and develop any custom test that you want. And uh, so, uh, to give you an example, uh, this is a Grace and Stadler auditory evoke potential system. But you can also buy it as OAE. It's a, DP, a clinical DPOAE system. It can be just OAE or just AEP or both. Uh, this is what's becoming probably the most popular now, uh, AEP system, auditory evoke potential system. It's made by Interacoustics. It's called an Eclipse. Uh, and they just, uh, they just released their new OAE software, both TEOAE and DPOAE, and it is super fast and super noise immune. You can, you can stand there with the probe in your ear doing a 12 frequency clinical uh, DPOAE gram and go na 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 to the whole thing and still do it. Because the sampling rate is so fast that it does uh, you know, several hundred samples per second. All right, so in, in just a few milliseconds, in between the na 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 nas, it is getting enough samples to give you uh, appropriate signal to noise ratios. Uh, the, 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 the current software uh, on OAEs, the current development of them is very, very good in two things, things that everybody wants, and that is speed and noise immunity. It doesn't matter on an adult, you can stick it in the air and say, quiet, shut up, don't move, don't breathe, uh, I'm going to hit go, and fine. But you can't say that to an 18-month-old, right? So, you, you're, uh, so it would be important to try to find a system that has the best performance. And in autoacoustic emissions, performance means speed and noise immunity. And, and the thing that gives you the most noise immunity, engineering-wise, is sampling rate, and it used to be way too slow, these systems were terrible with noise. Because remember, autoacoustic emissions, the emission might only be 5 dB, 2 dB, minus 2 dB. You know? Well, how many dB do you think there is in an ear canal? You put a probe in the ear canal, if the patient's alive and breathing, it's at least 45 dB. So there's way more noise than there is emission. The thing is, you have to be able to average very quickly to average down that noise, which will be random relative to the emission. Uh, and uh, so sampling rate and digital uh, filtering. Digital filtering and sampling rate is what does it. Uh, and today you can do that much faster than you could even two years ago. So that's a PC-based system. And some of these handhelds, like the Titan and these Autodynamics, they, they have what is called Autoport Advance. This does absolutely everything. TE, DPOE, screening, diagnostic, and, and you can you can do a diagnostic test on this, and you see it on this little color display. Hit data transfer, and it pops into the software, um, and you've got a beautiful electronic medical record.